A warm round of applause for Andrei Arkonechnikov. Uh, hi, everyone. Thanks for coming and thanks for having me here on this stage. It's an honor. Um, today, I want to talk about like, how to make LinkedIn great again and um, what the heck is Lint, right? And I assume everyone is familiar with what Lint is, but here's a reference from uh, Wikipedia. And it says, like, so basically, it's a static analysis tool that helps you write better code. Uh, so many people might ask, like, why even Lint, right? Uh, because, yeah, <laughs> uh, if your code is ugly, you don't need to use an uglifier at all. Um, but yeah, using Lint tools lead to fewer bugs, better readability, which means less time for code reviews and faster development. Uh, because, um, uh, as it turns out, on average, software developers spend 50% of their time finding and fixing bugs, so, uh, which is uh, this inefficiency. It's, like, it's an estimated cost, but it's still like it's a huge number. It's like 312 billion a year. So if you can reduce the amount of these bugs, uh, and if you don't lend, you basically, you literally doing this. Uh, yeah, you're burning money. So how to lint, right? Uh, there are like plenty of tools uh, from text lint to ES lint, which I love. And if you like, uh, if you old fashioned uh, JS lint, SCSS lint, uh, JSON lint even, or the uh, really cool style lint uh, tool for CSS linting. So it's up to you, up to your project, up to your needs. So there are like uh, lots of linting tools that will help uh, make your code better or even text better. Uh, but is it really faster? Is it really make us faster? Because let's take a look at our like uh, usual uh, code writing uh, process, right? So we write our amazing, stylish code. And the next thing we do, we open a pull request, and we push our code to the server just to find out that the build is failing, right? And it's like, oh, I probably broke something. And then you go to Travis CI just to find out, oh, yeah, it's like, at this time point, you're like, oh my god, why? So you, you go back to your ID, you, you fix the semicolon, you push your code again, and it's like, it's green. Cool, but still, like, it's, it's hard, right? It's like, why? It's... Uh, raise your hand how many people uh, have been in this situation. It's like, yeah, it's like almost everyone. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah, let's take a look at this popular project called Webpack. Probably many of you are familiar with it. And it's like, just like April 9th, it's like a few days ago, one, two, <laughs> three, four. And so, uh, it's just the first page. I, I didn't even scroll. And I was like, hmm, interesting. How many of these things could be on GitHub? So I searched, text and link, almost 500 errors <laughs> search results. Okay, I was like, hmm, it's not too much. Yeah, fixing indentation, like almost three million. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I wish I could link before committing changes to a repository. It should be like everyone, right? Uh, but yeah, making this is, is pretty it's it's pretty hard. So like, Git hooks, yeah, Git, Git hooks are hard, right? It's hard to set up, it's hard to manage, and most importantly, it's hard to share across the team. So, yeah, where's the tool for that? So it's called Husky. You just npm install, and if you like, if you if you really modern, you use Yarn, right? Um, doesn't matter. And after that, you can do uh, in your package JSON, you just added this uh, new script. It's called like pre-commit in this case, and you run like the command. Uh, it's ESLint in this case uh, on a pre-commit hook, so it, it will just work. Uh, across the whole team, so the next, uh, the next time everyone checks out this code, it will just work. But yeah, on, on many projects that are legacy projects, you might uh, go into this problem, like 6,000 errors uh, after this. And also, this might take up to a few minutes time uh, before this like, finished this linting process. So it's slow in displaying irrelevant results. This is where you meet lint stage, the project I created and maintain. And all, uh, you install it uh, a similar way. <laughs> and um, 
the only change you need is like instead of ESLint dot, you, you write lint staged, and then you add this lint stage configuration, which is also simple. It's like a globe and a, and a command you want to run on, on these files. And this is how it looks like. So um, it, only, it, it only runs this command on the staged files you're about to commit. So uh, in this case, uh, you see there's just one file I'm going to uh, commit. And now it's running lint only on this file. So it's fast, and you see results that are relevant to this file and not to the, the rest of the uh, uh, changed files. Um, but yeah, which makes uh, Git hooks amazing, right? Um, but where's more? Um, you can even automatically fix linting errors. So if you create this kind of config, you now can fix errors, add it to this uh, Stay, uh, to, the, to the index of this commit and commit in one way. Or even reformat your code. There's an amazing project called Pretier that will automatically reformat your code on pre-commit hook and add it to your commit. And this is how it looks like. So here I have a pretty bad formatted React code. Nobody wants to read this one, right? And I commit it because I don't care. I'm a bad developer. And then I run this hook. And the next thing you can see this is the code I got in the repository. Just like, what? So it just, it goes out of your way. So it just, you know, you, you keep writing your code as you would, but it like, it makes, uh, it makes your code prettier. So this is how, this is the reaction uh, uh, of introducing clean stage with prettier in create react app. It's like, what? <laughs> uh, remember this? So yeah, don't do this because you don't have to. You can check this thing out and you can solve real problems. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Andre.